guys, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would do some swatches on a couple of the NYX suede lip creams that I have. So I have seven of them, which are these shades right here, and I figured I would swatch them on my lips and let you guys know what I think about them as well as how they apply and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested to see that happen, then please keep watching. So first I'm gonna start out with the packaging and basically they just come in a little thing like this. It comes with a doe foot applicator which is a bit longer than usual doe foot applicator so it is thick on the side and it goes into like a thin, so it's kind of like a paddly type situation. The formulation of these I really like. I have seen reviews and stuff where people say that they are quite drying. I personally really like how they feel on the lips. I do like my liquid lipsticks to be like dry because I know they're going to stay in place, you know what I mean? So the first one I'm going to try on is Sandstorm and it's just this one here. I would say it's like a brownie nude. I will say this applicator is really easy to apply product on because you know you can flip it around to the thinner side if you want to like line your lips. They remove pretty easily but keeping in mind this was only on my lips for like a few seconds. The longer you leave them on the harder it is to remove but they're definitely not as hard to remove as the lingerie versions of these. Those ones are so hard to remove. So as you can see, I literally just applied this and you can still see like a little bit of glossy, shininess going on. I'll be back in a few seconds and show you guys how it looks once it's set. So it's been about 15 seconds and as you can tell, it's really powdered itself down, like it's really mattified and yeah, I really like this color. What I've noticed is with these brighter shades like this one here and these are super pigmented and they can very quickly look like paint on your lips. So I found the best way to use this is with barely anything on the brush and a thin coat, like otherwise it will look really bad, I feel. Okay, so that's how Kitten Heels looks. It's a really deep red red, like literally the definition of a red. It didn't really have the same problem as the brighter ones, I guess because it's more deep than it is bright. But oh my gosh, I suck at applying red lipsticks. Okay, so that's how this one is looking, Stone Fox. It's a lot more blue than I thought it would be. I thought it would be really like grey and cementy, but it's basically blue. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all the seven shades of the liquid suede that I have. Overall, I do really like them. They last a reasonable amount of time on the lips and they're not too uncomfortable. Like, because they are super matte, they're not super drying, but they are quite drying. You know what I mean? I will say that if you eat or drink and stuff, be a little bit more careful because they will kind of crack, especially like inside your lip area. They crack and you'll have to reapply. Not just reapply, but you'll have to remove and reapply. Personally, I don't do that. I just remove the entire thing and give it up. But yeah, if you're gonna reapply, remove it and then reapply because it will get really chunky really quick, really bad, really fast. That's pretty much all I have to say. I really like them. There is an incredible array of shades to choose from, so you're pretty much sorted. The formula is pretty consistent throughout them all, except I will say that the brighter ones definitely be a bit more careful because they separate easier and they get really paint-like a lot faster than the darker ones. Like the nude ones are perfect. Like Sandstorm is my all-time favorite. It's so easy to use. You don't have to be that careful. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful or enjoyable and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Do some swatches on, oh my God, my hands, my hands. Oh, oh.